Happy New Year. 2011 was a successful year for Seattle Opera. You rewarded us with your attendance and your generosity. For the past 18 years, we have balanced our budget, and we're one of the two large companies in America that has no accumulated deficit. I thank you more than I can say. Our success has come about because of you and the great community in which we are located. I speak to you now because I want to make sure that 2012 is yet another successful year. First of all, please renew your subscription. Subscriptions are our lifeblood, and subscribers make up a large part of the opera's family. A majority of our donors are subscribers, and it is for you that I vary the operas that we present and bring to our community, stimulating and exciting singers, conductors, and directors. I bring back singers such as John Redier in this month's Atala, whom you have indicated you like, and present a new sensation such as Ana Lucrezia Garcia to illustrate the constant rejuvenation of our art form. These two artists, as well as the other singers, our director and conductor, should make the premiere of Atala at Seattle Opera thrilling and memorable. Orpheus and Eurydice, which follows, combines great artists such as William Burden, along with an exciting director and an extraordinary conductor who specializes in 18th century music, to present the work that paved the way to Mozart and all the operas that followed. Main stage opera is not all we do. Our education program is booming, coming into more schools and working with more students than ever before. Our Young Artist Program, which has a vital educational component, will present this spring a performance of Donizetti's Don Pasquale from March 31st through April 7th for the first time at Meany Hall at the University of Washington. It should be a must on your calendar. You have proved that you care about Seattle Opera. We need you as a subscriber, a donor, and an advocate. Ask your friends to come to Seattle Opera. If you have friends who buy single tickets, try to get them to subscribe. The step up the ladder from single ticket buyer to subscriber is not hard, nor does it have to be costly, but it is vital to our economic health. Emphasize that a subscriber has great flexibility. Changing a ticket from one night to another is a major benefit. I have two other requests. First, ask someone who has never been to Seattle Opera to attend. I do this constantly on airplanes, while shopping, at parties, or on one occasion at the Supreme Court. My experience is that many people know we exist and are curious about us, but they still don't believe that they can go to the opera. They worry about what they must wear or whether they will understand what is sung. You can tell them they can wear anything they want to wear and explain how our English supertitles work. With your enthusiasm for what we do, that will be enough to get them to give us a try. After all, word of mouth is the best kind of public relations. Secondly, once you have made an annual gift, consider the other options. A gift to education or the Young Artist Program. Support for a specific artist on stage or to fund our on-stage innovation. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your support and your belief in our company. These are tough times. We need your help. You can expand our audience and thereby keep us stable and sound. Happy New Year, and thank you for all you do for Seattle Opera.